Hey guys, don't mind me and my no makeup self and my sports bra and all that stuff. I just came from the gym, but I've been wanting to record this video for a while and there's quite good light going on right now, so I figured why not? I don't need to be wearing makeup in every video anyways. You gotta be real. I really wanted to film this video for a really long time for two reasons. One, because I think it's important to share your experiences with other people, but two, because I think this is something that a lot of people who are going through college or university right now may just need to hear or know or just be informed. I kinda wanted to share my college slash university experience because I had a really, really great one, but at the same time, I made a lot of realizations at that time, and if I could go back, there are probably a couple things that I would change that I think would make it a little bit smoother. Things first, I went to McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario in Canada, which is one of the top universities in Canada. Absolutely loved it there. It was such a great university. I, If I were to do it again, I would totally choose the same place. It was the perfect university for me. Perfect size, not too big, not too small in terms of numbers and population, but in terms of the campus as well, it was a perfect size. It's beautiful such a great time there and definitely would recommend it if you're going to study any program really. McMaster has the reputation for being a very science-based school but that's not true at all. We do have amazing science programs there. Me saying we, like I still go there. Great programs there for science and engineering. That's, that's definitely like their top ranking programs but I went there for political science and friend. Had an amazing opportunity with some amazing professors that have so much experience under their belts and I didn't feel like oh I should have went to a school that was more poli-sci or French like centered. Not at all. I had an amazing amazing education. Wouldn't have traded it for anything. That being said though, there are a couple of things that I myself would have changed, not the university, but that I myself should have changed throughout that process, my whole five year experience of university. And one of those things was getting involved. I got involved in a lot of things. Too many things, some may say, but that was how I've always been. That's how I've been in high school too. I was just always, always involved in dance stuff, leadership stuff, newspaper stuff, like every club you could think of or association or organization or society, I was on a lot of them. And I think that that really not only took away from my schoolwork, but it also had me too busy. Like I really, wanted to just immerse myself as much as possible in everything that I could and meet the most amount of people that I could meet and stuff like that but it ended up being way too much for me at certain points and I would have my friends be like Shmani stop like you don't need to sign up for everything you don't need to take every single opportunity like it's better for you to focus on like two or three things even three is could be too much in university you know but it ended up sort of hurting me in the end because I was focusing on so many different things. My brain was in a million different places at once and I couldn't really do very well at one thing because I had like 16 different things going on. You may really want to immerse yourself in things in university but make sure that you really find what you're passionate about and stick to like I would say no more than two or three clubs, associations, society, sports, whatever because it really does take a lot out of you and the number one thing you're there for is education and school. You wanna make sure that's your number one priority and you don't wanna spread yourself too thin. The second thing that I would change is making more time for a social life. So those two things definitely go together. However, I realized that sometimes I was way too analytical about who I was hanging out with and the kind of crowd that I wanted to be around and I would even think about all the sort of like pictures that I wanted and stuff like that and I think that also has to do a lot with the fact that, you know, Facebook had only been around for a couple of years and I was seeing so many images of people just having the best time in university and I was like, I want that, I want those things and I want those pictures and I want those memories and so I was trying to control it too much and control the kind of people that I wanted to hang out with or surround myself with when really letting things happen organically is the way that friendships are supposed to happen and that's the way that, you know, communities are built and so I did have a really good set of friends of the girls that I lived with and then in different societies but I used to get really jealous of people who would really have those friends that they just hung out with all the time and like had pictures with and that they were making so many memories with this one group of maybe five people or something like that. It really felt like oh those are the friends that these people are really making for the rest of their lives. Try to push that on so many different groups or try to try to make that happen all the time and you can't really make those things happen. That's supposed to be an organic thing and so it was really really wrong of me I think too to sort of 
judge people and try to say, well, these are the kind of people that I want to hang out with or this is the sort of relationships that I want to have or friendships that I want to have and just try to just micromanage the situation. It really wasn't a good idea and at the end of the day, for me, most of my friends, our good friends are still our friends from high school. My best friends are still my friends from high school and that's just how it worked out because we just had a really good group of friends in high school and we all kind of stuck together and that's not really how it works for a lot of people. So in the end, it did still work out for me because I still have the same best friends but I wish sort of that I had put less of an emphasis on who I was hanging out with or the kinds of groups that I wanted to be involved with and just kind of like had organically let that stuff happen, then I think I would have had a better experience with creating like a core group of friends or making memories with a good group of friends that continued for the whole time that I was in university because I still get a little bit jealous of people that I see that are still really good friends with their friends in university that they had in university. I still have a couple people that I'm still very close with from university, but I sort of wish that I had like one core group and that you know, we did everything together and made really great memories and we were just super, super close. And I think that's my fault for not letting those things organically happen and just kind of like pushing everything, try to, trying to push things to happen and controlling situations as opposed to just letting them organically happen. The third thing that I wish I had changed, and again, these, are, these things are all relative because they all sort of complement each other. I really wish that I didn't place so much of an emphasis on it, as weird as that sounds, I really sort of slowly realized that maybe this sort of thing wasn't for me. Like I had been brought up my whole life knowing that I would go to university. It was just, it was just a thing. It was never going to be an option to take a year off or work or any of that stuff. It was just, you're going to graduate, you're going to go to university, you're going to do a master's, you're going to get a great job, great life, done. That's just how it was. But I think especially towards my like fourth and fifth year, I really started to realize that maybe this sort of learning wasn't really facilitating my intelligence, if that makes sense. Because like I said, in my program, I did one degree in political science and another in French. It was very much theory-based and a lot of it was regurgitation of information, and that's fine. Sometimes that's the only way to learn that kind of stuff. But at the same time, I found there were certain classes in which I learned in a much more sort of organic way or where I got to sort of do my own research and much smaller classes I found were a lot more helpful in terms of me actually gaining knowledge. I just wish that I did. I wasn't so hard on myself is what I'm trying to say actually. I wish I wasn't so hard on myself about it because you know if I would get a bad mark or if I would not do well on a presentation or something I would just beat myself up about it and at the same time I felt like but I'm trying my best and I know I'm not stupid you know what I mean? So it slowly took a while for me to realize that maybe this just wasn't the type of learning for me because everybody learns in different ways and education doesn't always equal intelligence. So just because you maybe don't learn as well in a university environment, it doesn't mean that you're stupid. I slowly learned that all that really meant was that that type of learning wasn't for me. Still ended up graduating with an honors degree and like I did well, I didn't do as well as I would have liked and I beat myself up about that for a really long time and I really noticed eventually that maybe it just wasn't for me and that's okay because now I have a job that I love and I've also learned that experience is super important and experience sometimes means a lot more than the degree that you have. I, I just wish that I had an opportunity to just come outside of myself and shake my shoulders and be like, Shivani, it's okay. Like, this isn't the end of your world just because you got a bad mark in this class. You know what I mean? But I, I think it's really easy when you're in university to beat yourself up that way because that's all you know. It's also really hard when you're living with people or you know people who just very easily do very well on things and you need to work a little bit harder on them. Because I was never one of those people that these things came easily to. I always had to work really, really hard on them. And so I still think about it. To this day, I still think about it and I, it bugs me, but I feel like I learned a lot outside of the classroom as well. And even just that whole experience of being there and learning and realizing, okay, maybe this kind of institution actually isn't for me, which is something I would have never thought before. That's okay. University isn't for everybody. And if you get there and you realize, you know what? I don't feel like I'm learning the way that I should be, or I don't feel like I'm getting out of this what I should be getting out of it, then it's not for you and that's okay. There are so many other options and there's just no point in beating yourself up about it because everyone learns differently and it's not a big deal. And so lastly, I just wish I had let myself be a little more free. I'm such a 
type A person and you know being in university and being type A means you plan and I planned everything and I planned my life and what I wanted to do and you kind of you kind of have to because of deadlines and like application deadlines and stuff like that so I understood why I was that way but at the same time I kind of wish I didn't because in my fifth year, I applied for a very specific master's program that was offered at McMaster, same same university. Um, they only accepted like 15 people, but I had worked with some of the people on the board before and my marks were pretty good, so I thought that I would get in. And when I didn't get in, it was extremely disappointing. Like I've never really sobbed or cried like that in my life. I was so upset because I felt like, holy crap, like what am I gonna do now? I, I put all my eggs in one basket and I just thought, this is gonna be the rest of my life. And it was all contingent upon getting into that master's program. Stressed myself out about it so long, I made myself feel like crap. Luckily, I have great parents, and my mom was like, hey, it's okay, there are other opportunities, you know you're a smart girl, like, don't beat yourself up about it, it's all right. Like, you know, I didn't have the kind of parents that were like, you are a waste of time, and how could you not get in, and blah, 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 blah. Like, I have quite understanding parents when it comes that kind of stuff. They were very, very supportive and all of my friends were very supportive. It ended up turning out okay because that was the summer that I got offered to go to London and then this whole modeling thing started happening. So it ended up really working out in the end because you know, you see like it's like the saying says, everything happens for a reason because if I had gotten into that master's program, I probably wouldn't have taken the opportunity to go to London, but look at the life that I'm living now. It's exactly what I want to be doing and I'm so happy doing it. But in that moment, it just felt like my whole world was over. The end of my life. That's really what it felt like. And it should never feel that way. I just, I really wish that I didn't put all my eggs in one basket. I really wish that I didn't sort of hold it to this high pinnacle of like the meaning of my life because there is so much more to life than just school. I really, really learned that in the end that it was okay. It's okay that I didn't get in. So I really wish that I had just like forgiven myself and moved on and just reformulated my plan instead of making myself sad and depressed and spreading all that negative energy because I probably could have been using that time to do something more productive. Those four things are kind of what I wanted to go through with you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed me sharing my experiences. I really did have the best time in university and at the same time I really learned a lot not only in terms of education but about myself and so that's why I really wanted to share this with you guys. Everyone that's in university right now just remember that there is life after school and there's no point in you getting super upset or beating yourself off about situations because your life will move on from this point and just remember to you know give it everything you got but at the same time don't force things and don't kill yourself over it. And make sure that you make time for yourself and your sanity because it's really, really important to think about yourself first. Just remember to allow things to happen organically and don't be too controlling of situations because sometimes things unfold exactly the way that they should. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!